sidetrack you from what you're doing to uh, make you think you're crazy um, and to manipulate the remote neural monitoring. So what remote neural monitoring is, is basically uh, technology being used to read individuals' thoughts. Now there, um, Facebook has come out and let people know that they are researching this, uh, this technology. There are government patents on this. And again, there is no firewall in the brain, so this is completely possible. There wouldn't be a patent, a US patent for it, if it's something that um, could not, will not function. Uh, so with the remote neural monitoring, that remote neural monitoring is being tracked and being recorded, and somebody's reading it. Um, whether it be the police department, intel agencies, uh, corporations, who, whoever is trying to read your thoughts, basically. If somebody wants to create a false narrative of an individual, they can use synthetic telepathy to manipulate the outcome of the remote neural monitoring. Um, if they want a certain individual, say... Of course, now it's buffing. Now, this is an... Uh, this is an ex-military firefighter explaining to you how this works. Oops. Let's say I have a probation officer, and that probation officer is reading the remote neural monitoring uh, recorded from me. And certain individuals want to create a narrative about me. They can insert different thoughts into my head. Follow me here. There are there are patents for this. Uh, there are millions of people complaining about this. Uh, but they, uh, if they want to create a certain narrative about a person, they can insert those th thoughts that synthetic telepathy into your thought pattern then the people that are reading the remote neural monitoring are getting a false narrative of the person that you really are. Okay. Um, an RFID chip, radio frequency identification, um, these are inserted into, well, all kinds of people. I was going to say targeted individuals, but uh, all kinds of people are getting RFID chips, um, just like uh, you see people getting put in their hand. So while it's buffing and they're trying to stop the message, now I had surgery and I've had this done. So there are a lot of people. Their hand right here uh, oh. to scan their door, to not have to have a, a key to enter their door, um, to identify themselves at work. Some people are voluntarily doing this, uh, I believe in Denmark, somewhere in the Netherlands. Uh, but these are inserted into targeted individuals' bodies during uh, consensual. Uh, surgeries, so say somebody gets breast implants, say somebody has or they break a leg, they, they have uh, they need to get metal and a bunch of screws put into their leg. Uh, during that surgery, the doctor can uh, the doctor that you are seeing, the doctor that is performing the surgery on you, uh, could have been approached by uh, whatever agency is responsible for doing this. They tell the doctor that they need to help with national security. They have them signing non-disclosure and what's called an NSL, a national security letter, saying that they cannot say anything about this due to national security and they must insert this RFID chip into an individual's body. Um, one of my friends actually, I just looked at her RFID uh, printout, her scan of her body, and she's got, I don't know, seven or eight of them uh, all throughout her body, and some up towards her head, uh, one in the chest, just different areas, one in the foot things like that so that's uh, and those are for tracking I think tracking pretty much anywhere you go say you leave your cell phone at home uh, they not gonna sure they're not gonna track you through your cell phone uh, because it's at home that doesn't matter they can track you with the RFID chip and there's other things they can accomplish um, by having a, an RFID chip in your body where they can read um, vitals heart rate uh, emotions uh, different things like that to to judge how you're feeling at the time and know when to attack you, basically. Uh, okay, so here's some uh, non-technological things that happen. Uh, street theater. Street theater is when you go out into public and... So, I'm going to stop it right there. So, basically, people, this is how they're doing it. I mean, there there's patents for it. I've seen them. Uh, 
somebody gave me the information on it and I checked it out there's US patents on these 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 human trafficking weapons that they're using like I said they're, they're, they're human farming they're human farming people man you know they call it gang stalking but it's but it's human trafficking 